Martin Luther called the biblical teaching and our vocations as the masks of God. God hides himself, he said, in our vocation to serve others. God hides himself in the callings in life, the vocations of others around us too, to provide for our needs of daily bread. And as God's masks, serving in all the vocations we have in life, in home, in school, society, and so on, God gives us gifts. We have different abilities, skills, strengths. But one thing we all have, whether you realize it or not, is an imagination. Now, don't think that you outgrow using your imagination as you mature. Now, it's true, we might not have imaginary friends anymore, hopefully not as you get older, and we might not use our imaginations the same way we did when we played with toys or friends when we were younger, but you still use your imagination in your vocations. How so? Well, think of an engineer who's going to build a bridge, or an architect who's designing a home. They're using their imagination as they plot and plan and as they construct. Think of a doctor who is going to diagnose your symptoms and help treat you, or a mechanic who's going to troubleshoot that pesky engine light that keeps coming on. They're using their imaginations as they treat you and help you, as they fix your car, as they serve you. Think of your church, where your pastor prepares sermons, Bible studies, confirmation classes, youth events, like maybe going to higher things. Or think about your church music, musicians, organists, and leaders. They're using their imaginations as the pastor preaches and teaches, as you sing, as you play, as the busted pipe is repaired, as the new drinking fountain is installed, and all the other things that go into daily life around a Christian church, and in your home, and at school, and everywhere you serve and live, you're using your vocation and imagination, and so are others. You, as God's baptized child, also have that imagination, and your many vocations in life as student, brother, sister, son, daughter, friend, the list goes on. In all those vocations, you're using your imagination. You see, it's not a matter of whether or not we use our imagination. We're always using it. The hope is to use it in a God-pleasing way. So it's good to slow down and think and pray, how am I using my imagination in my vocation? Am I using it to point to and proclaim Christ? Am I using it for things that are good and true and beautiful? Am I using it to help serve and love my neighbor with my imagination in my vocation. Now, one of my favorite authors, J.R.R. Tolkien, said once that we as God's people are sub-creators. We make and we tell stories and we love to create things, whether it's words or clay or whatever, because God first made us in his image. And that's the way it is for us and for you, God's baptized Christians too, in our vocations. We love and serve because Christ first loved us. We use our imaginations in service to Christ and our neighbor because he was incarnate for us, died and rose for us. As God's baptized Christians, that's who we are. We're creatures of our creative, caring God in Christ. We're story listeners. We're storytellers of Christ crucified. We are story creators, taking all God's riches and gifts and using that gift of the imagination in our vocations. Until next time, rest in the totally sufficient, imputed righteousness of Christ, and continue to train your imaginations in the Lutheran way.